Hey guys, it's Matt here. Uh, today I want to talk to you about why physical media is still important. It certainly isn't the first time I've brought this up, and it won't be the last. Uh, if you listen to the podcast, you know we've talked about this before at length, uh, as well as some of my contemporaries um, dedicate their YouTube channels to this topic. So uh, I feel like physical media is still important, and I'm going to tell you why I think so. If I can reach one person watching this video, it will all be worth it. Certainly, you'd be forgiven uh, to think that physical media, i.e. DVDs, Blu-rays, etc., have gone the way of the dodo uh, since streaming. Um, and you want to be far off. Certainly, it's easier just to click a button than to uh, pay money on a physical, tangible product. Um, and get it in the mail to watch said TV show or movie. But it is still important to have that physical media. And I'm going to tell you why I think that is so. Personally, I think it's cool to have a physical, tangible copy of the movie or show that you like. Uh, to physically have that in your collection, to own it, um, to have it you know, there on the shelf. There's something special about that. Not dissimilar to records or CDs, uh, which I tend to lean more towards streaming on those devices, but I do believe there's something special about having the physical movie that you're the custodian of. Now, one reason that physical media is still important is that licenses change. A digital property that you might own or rent uh, on a streaming service uh, can one day disappear. So once you physically own it, you become the custodian of that uh, said media and it becomes yours. A good example of this was on Disney Plus when that was released. Obviously, they had all the Star Wars uh, materials on there, but if you remember, some of them disappeared because uh, they were licensed to other platforms like Hulu or Prime or whatever that may be, and they disappeared for a while. So just because a company that owns intellectual property launches a streaming service, you know, contracts might not always go away, so they're still obliged to do that. So sometimes it's hard to uh, find what you're looking for depending on what platforms you're using. Another example of this, um, and Christopher Nolan uh, spoke out in support of physical media this year in regards to the movie Cocoon. Uh, now, you can uh, buy that now to rent, I believe, but there were a few months where you could not, and it was considered a dead film, at least streaming, where it was not available anywhere. Um, and the only way to get that was to get a physical media copy. copy. And you're going to see that more and more. So to preserve physical media uh, and to own that is actually to keep that you know, alive if, if for whatever reason it, it disappears from a streaming service. Um, another good example of why physical media is still relevant and important um, is that when you have physical media, it, it gives you an option of extra features. There's bonus features on the DVD or Blu-ray. You know, there's director's cuts, there's commentary. Um, those pretty much don't live anywhere on streaming for the most part. Like 90% of the stuff out there are more, um, they don't, do not have these extra features gag reels, whatever that is. So you get these cool bonuses with a lot of um, physical media um, that kind of goes away with streaming. Another bonus of physical media is there's no danger um, of unnecessary editing. Uh, a buddy of mine on the fanzine channel spoke about Tubi, which I didn't realize that, will actually edit their content. Um, they'll they'll cer edit certain scenes out or they'll edit uh, certain... This is no um, different from television streaming, obviously. They'll edit certain... Uh, parts of the movie or TV show out for time. Um, but there's certain scenes that may not have aged well or whatnot that they'll completely cut out. And you don't run that risk with physical media where you have the original format of the film or television show uh, in its intended purpose, um, unedited, unabridged. And I feel like that's important. Also, uh, owning physical media is significantly cheaper than streaming. Certainly an $11 uh, subscription to Apple Plus or whatever uh, is cheaper than buying a $20 Blu-ray. But um, certainly the price really goes down with DVDs in particular. And if you own, you know, 20 streaming services, that tends to add up where you can have the physical media forever, one-time purchase. And it's kind of yours always, regardless of what streaming services change or whatnot. And I feel like a good example of this were the eBooks. They wrote out um, books, I'm sorry, wrote out the eBook kind of crazy. Certainly ebooks on the Libby app and Audible and whatever are an easy way to read novels or, or whatnot on your devices, but books sort of rode that out as well. And we're seeing with books as well as physical media a resurgence in late 2023 and 2024. And I feel like these support 
kind of my theory on why physical media is still important. So that's what I think, and I'm sticking with it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd be interested to read them on the air and check them out. Thank you for tuning in. Give me your time. I am Clark the Shark. Good night.